Hi, I'm Max. I'm the shop manager and instructor with the Academy of Art University's School of Industrial Design in San Francisco. Normally, we use our shop to make models of products, cars, jewelry, furniture, and toys. Now, we're changing gears to create face shields, which can be used in addition to a mask to help stop the spread of the virus. This is designed by a Swedish firm called 3D Verkstun, which we modified with validation and advice from our local healthcare providers to make sure that it works properly. We use our water jet cutter to cut polycarbonate sheets and we 3D print the frames. These snap together for a comfortable fit, which is adjustable with a rubber band. During this time of crisis, we're asking people in our community to come together in solidarity with our frontline workers to help produce as much personal protective equipment as possible. Do you have a 3D printer and want to help? Here's what you can do. Download the most up-to-date versions of the 3D files we prepared. You'll find a version with a single frame as well as versions with stacked frames. It's best to try the single frame first to dial in the settings for your printer. You can download either the SDL, which includes just the model itself, or download the 3MF file, which will give you a head start on selecting your settings. We're going to use Ultimaker Cura to prepare these files. Any slicer will do, but this one is free and easy to use. When we open Cura, we first want to make sure that our printer is selected by navigating to the top left corner. In our lab, we use the Prusa i3, but any printer is fine as long as it has at least 160 mm by 195 mm build footprint. Go ahead and open the file by clicking on the folder icon at the top left corner. Make sure that it's centered on your build plate by first selecting the object, then using the move and rotation tools to make sure it fits. Now let's look at our settings. Click on the settings bar at the top right and select custom. We want speed and reliability, so we're going to select the draft preset from the profile dropdown at the top. Under quality, our layer height will be 0.2 millimeters, which will print quickly but reasonably smoothly. Under shell, I will leave my settings at default with a 0.8 millimeter thickness for my walls, floor, and ceiling. For infill, 10% density is strong enough while still printing quickly. Gyroid pattern works well, but grid and triangles will do just fine if that's what is available in your slicer. For material, this depends on what you have on hand. PETG is preferable since it can stand up to high temperatures and stresses, but if all you have on hand is PLA, that'll be far better for frontline workers than having nothing at all. We'll go ahead and set this for PLA. For speed, we can leave this at the default for your printer, and for our Prusa, this will be 60 millimeters per second. Printing fast saves time up front, but you may spend more time later troubleshooting failed prints. Next, we'll turn support off. This model is designed to not need any support, and we don't want to add time cleaning the models at the end. Lastly, we'll look at build plate adhesion. We can use either skirt or choose none at all. This design works without a brim or a raft, which will prevent a ragged edge from scratching the wearer's forehead. Go ahead and apply these settings to your part by clicking on the slice button, then export the part for print by clicking File, Export. If you get the single frame to print consistently and you'd like to increase your production, you can print stacked frames. Go ahead and download that file from our site. The same part is repeated vertically with one layer thickness between each part and a vertical tab to keep the temples together. It's important that you keep your layer height set to 0.2 millimeters here, otherwise the frames will fuse together. Leave the support turned off unless you have a dual material printer, in which case printing with soluble supports can be helpful. Each one that you create will make a world of difference for the people using it in the field. Thank you so much for stepping up to help us flatten the curve right here in the Bay Area.